On this episode of the Easy Prey Podcast, I talk with Jeffrey Hazlitt about how his image and pictures of his grandkids are being used to scam women out of tens of thousands of dollars and breaking hearts in the process. Jeffrey is an award-winning television and radio host, best-selling author, Hall of Fame speaker, and CEO of the C-Suite Network. This is the Easy Prey Podcast with your host, Chris Parker. Thank you, Jeffrey, for uh, coming on and agreeing to uh, tell me your story. Let's get started. So what is uh, your story? Well, you know, I just recently did a show for BBC. Uh, I think I can't even remember the name of it, but I think it was Finding Love in All the Wrong Places. That should be the subtitle, at least, where my identity, my picture, uh, my photos and video have been used by numerous scammers, these scam lambs. I, I call them, uh, you know, scum buckets, you know, uh, gravy sucking pigs, whatever you want to call them. But <laughs> That, you know, they are utilizing my my life, trying to hijack that in a number of different ways, mostly for dating scams. And they're using I'm I'm Anton, I'm Christoph, I'm I'm all kinds of different names. I think most recently I'm a I'm a 39 year old, which is uh, 20 years <laughs> older than that, but I'm I'm a 39 year old microbiologist from South Africa. Always, typically, I'm somewhere in another foreign country outside the U.S. is where they've done it, and um, they're utilizing my pictures in order to scam women and men. Because I'm not only on, not only is my image being on hetero sites, they're also on homosexual sites. So, which I'm so I'm, from that perspective, I guess I'm an equal opportunity employer. But <laughs> you know. Uh, what but it's just sad to see and then and people are taking advantage of we get this every day and most recently there was i did the bbc uh and met a woman her name is rachel uh just a a beautiful soul who actually gave you know hundreds of thousands of dollars to the scammer she fell fell in love and and most of the time i get i get a lot of letters from daughters or sons of their mothers saying, I want you to know that your pictures are being used, which I always appreciate because we try to then track them down, get them locked down. And their mothers, their mothers or sisters or someone, and and sometimes direct, the people call me direct. And they call me or they email me typically, but or reach out on social media because I've got, you know, hundreds of thousands of followers and stuff that I do in my real life, you know, which is television and, and my podcast and public speaking and you know the businesses and stuff that i own so um yeah and they're and it's just a sad sad i mean these guys are so sophisticated they're now using video so they're using a deep fake of you then no well well, i don't know what you call deep fake because you're a lot more (laughs) you you know more about this than me but what so i cut a lot of times i cut a video go hey this is jeffrey hazel i'll be live at your event on such and such and such and such and they what they do is they start stop it start stop it uh, and they kill the sound so it looks like I'm talking they go oh oh I'm sorry I'm in Bahra- Bahrain or I'm in I'm in Dubai it's a very bad connection I'm sorry you can't see me you can see me but you can't hear me and they you know and it's and then they start stop it start stop it so it looks like the person's like having a conversation with you you hear the audio in the background which is them talking you know, oh, I love you, I love you, I love you, you know, or whatever that the scum buckets do. But that's what they do. And they're they're just, I mean, they're just ripping people off. I mean, it's just amazing. It's amazing. And they've been very sophisticated. I, uh, you know, Christopher, we, I get a, uh, people send me my passport. It's not my passport. Wow. But they show, you know, in fact, this woman went on a rant. She was from uh, Brazil. And she went on a rant that Jeff Hazlett's a fraud, blah, blah, blah. Of course, I'm not a fraud. Give me a break. I'm a, I'm a corporate, former cor- for, Fortune 100 officer. I bought and sold 250 businesses in my career, $25 billion. I mean, go look me up. I, there's, there's thousands of entries about me. Um, and I'm married. I've been married for 39, 37 years, 37 and engaged for two. I count 39. So, I'm, you know, and no. <laughs> go on my public sites. It's, here's me with my wife at the Oscars or wherever we're at. And no, it's like, you know, this is my name, but there's some, you know, but they, they, they've in co- a couple of times they've used my name in other countries, but which is bad. Uh, but usually I can get those shut down, you know, so, but it's a, it's an issue. I, I mean, I got one guy who's using my pictures in the business and he's, and he, and he actually reproduced it in a different way on Instagram and then blocked all of my sites. And we were able to find them through another way. Mm-hmm. 
and he was trying to raise money and all this kind of stuff. And of course, I'd never do that. If anybody looks, they should, do, you know, they should take a look. You know, before you give money to people, don't you think you should, you should check it out? You should, you know, have proof of life, as I would, you know, or proof of identity of some way, shape, or form. Or, and I, and I, I understand there's a lot of lonely people out there, but by God, you know, take your, take your girlfriend. Have her check them out because, you know, they hate it, your boyfriends, you know, they hate the other guys. So, <laughs> you know, you know, have somebody else that would, you know, do that. I just, it, it just blows my mind. I guess people are very lonely and I, and I don't know, you know, I don't, I'm not in that realm of the world because I'm not on a tender. I'm on, or I'm not on uh, Bumble or whatever. I've now learned all these sites. I got to tell you, yep. Jay ate all of them. Probably more than you want to know about. More than I really, truly want to know. And. So there's a couple of things that, you know, I'm calling for. One is, you know, you know, check people out, pr- have proof of life, proof of identity. Uh, I mean, I would really, you know, before I, especially if you're going to give money to somebody, there's n- no way in shape, form, should you ever give money to somebody digitally that you have not physically met. I'm a okay? huge agreement of that. Yeah. And, and then even then, I don't even know because you wouldn't <laughs> give money to your, most of your relatives. So why would you give money to somebody that you love? And, and I, you, and you very well probably have fallen in love with this person, but there's no way, you know, there's absolutely no way you should do that. So that's that. And anyone that's asking you for money in a relationship, uh, seriously, come on. No that, way. That, that right there is a huge red that's flag. A, that's yeah. a check, right? And then you should really drill down on this person and more than just a few photos. And when was their profile put up? How long has the profile been up? You know, um, you know, no one just joins, you know, Facebook yesterday or, yeah. or Instagram yesterday or those kind of things that not at our age or, you know, typically. So, you know, that's a, that's another piece that you would, you would, you know, you really want. The other thing is I, I'm going to call, I'm calling on the dating sites and I'm going to make a big thing on this. Um, and even social media sites, because even when I've shown them they're using my name, I had Instagram recently and Facebook tell me they're not taking it down because the guy's legitimate inside of his rights. I said, it's my name. I have trademarked my name. I have the trademark on it. It's my freaking name. That's my freaking photo. And they wouldn't take it down. So, um, and the other thing is, I just think the dating sites need to show a proof of identity. Yeah. I, I, without question, they need to have proof of identity. Someone shouldn't be able to just put stuff up and say this is them without proving themselves. So, and, so like in the case where you talked about someone was able to provide a, a, a bogus passport, how would you recommend, you know, a dating site verify something if the passport is yeah, that fake? Ain't my issue. <laughs> no, that, I, so, I mean, yeah. but they should have some reasonable, you know, let me tell you. You know, they should have some reasonable uh, ways to be able to do that. Yeah. And, and, and I assume in most cases, people are not presenting passports. I mean, I've talked to a number of people who have been involved in scams and very yeah. seldom has anyone provided any form of documentation, even when asked as well. I lost my passport. Oh, I, I just happened to lose my ID yesterday. Yeah. The, well, you know all the sob story. I was just in a car crash and my body has been burned. I'm in the hospital. I mean, I, I, can, I can tell you all the things these guys have done. Um, you know, and most of them, you know, most of them, I know what even region, what country, what, what, uh, cities they're in, uh, cause we track them down. We, we have some groups that we work with on them. And in some cases I've actually gotten their phone numbers and called them. Wow. So do yeah. you, is it, do you think this is all one group or one entity doing it that has used your likeness or for some reason a whole you know, a bunch no, of unrelated it's, people. Oh, it's, it's a few people, but it is a scam lab. I call them scam labs. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you would call them, but, but to me, they're scam labs. They're a bunch of guys in Nigeria sitting in a room um, doing this stuff, telling, you know, and, they, and they've got a good formula and they just do it again and again and again. Um, and, and they even, they use pictures of my grandchildren. They oh. use pictures. Of, yeah. I mean, these are, these are real, these are about the lowest scum you could, I don't want to say the word freaking <laughs> fine. And, uh, you know, if they were in my ranch in South Dakota, I'd, they might not come back. I mean, that's the kind of guy. I mean, I'd, and I got deep ground. I got, I got some deep dirt there. So meaning uh, not to be threatening, but it just, it just blows my mind. Yeah. Um, and, you know, and, you, and even pictures of my wife are in some of their profiles. Oh, like, my goodness. I, I like, mean, how, how do they explain that away? Well, I, well, they say she died. Or, oh, my. Okay. You know, I, and I have a friend of mine who, uh, who is the president of the British Association of Speakers, and he's, he's, he's gay, and they're using him in heterosexual sites. And they have his sister 
in the photos. And he was part of the BBC special as well and said she died. It's his sister. Mm -hmm. I mean, that makes you feel bad. You know, you, you, because I feel like, you know, I'm a victim as much as the person who's being scammed. Yeah. Right. Now, less so because I'm not going to be financially harmed by it. I don't believe, you know, because I've won, I'm never getting my money. And, uh, but you know, the more that we can educate people, at least it is, I just don't like being used in that manner. Yeah. Period. You know, I don't want to be the poster p- person for fake, you know, dating and fake love and all those kind of things. I'd rather, rather be the poster boy for real love, and real things, <laughs> but, but nonetheless, you know, and I'm not trying to make light of it or fun of it, you know, cause in any way, shape or form, you know, I come, I kind of joke a I'm on, you know, heterosexes as well as homosexual. I'm appealing to both. So, you know, but, but I knew that the case because I've been in TV, you know, I've been a, a judge on Celebrity Apprentice for years. I was, uh, I've got my own television show on C-Suite TV. I was at my own show on Bloomberg. Uh, you know, if, if you do, you know, by the way, just doing a simple right click on an image mm-hmm. to, to search the image would help you find, I, I mean, I would look for, you know, Again, I, I, there's got to be something out there that, that, you know, helps more people to do more background on people. I just I don't I don't know what that is because I, I've i never had to be on that side, Chris, you know what I mean, of yeah. dating. So I can't. But I guarantee you, if I were dating you or some other person, dude, I'm going to check you out first. I'm, I'm short of running a credit check on you. Yeah. You know, and it, at some point we get to that level. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to look you up. Have you got any outstanding warrants? Have you been to prison? I'm, I, I want to know all those kinds of things. And typically, you're not going to find when you search for these folks, you won't find them anywhere else. Yeah. You know, it's a, a Christoph or, you know, whoever or, or a Hendrik. Right now, I'm Hendrik. I, that's another word. There's always something. I'm in, I'm in Scandinavia or somewhere. I mean, you know, if you start looking for those names, you can't find them. You can't find any other profile. You can't find any other. And in today's world, you know, that's not possible. Yeah. They I mean, I'm such instead, obscure I'm, names. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you should be able to find whoever that is and find multiple. Now, you know, they'll 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 fake the background on a lot of those people, but most people just don't go deep. Yeah. It's, it's the, the desire, the, the desire to have a relationship, the desire for that friendship kind of well, yeah, trumps. Yeah. I don't want to say trumps common yeah. sense, but at no, some it point does. it does, there's it a suspension. Oh yeah. Well, and you, and I always joke when, when you're this good looking, I understand, but no, <laughs> I, you know, that's not the case. Yeah. It, I, I'm just, and you know, men, women, you're listening right now. Don't do this stuff. Pay attention. We're here to help. We're not here to stop you. I want you to have a, a long and beautiful, loving life. And I would not, I just want you to find it with real people, right? Exactly. And and so oh, just take the steps to make sure that you're just not ripped off and and you're not hurt. I mean, because it's it, the money's one thing. The money's one thing. It's the betrayal. The Because eventually they're going to be found out. Yeah. You know, they're going to be found out. Uh, but if anyone, anyone in any relationship is asking you for money, you should, uh, <laughs> even if you're run related, for the door, <laughs> even if you're related, you typically want to run for the door. I, it just never works out. Hardly yeah. ever works out. Yeah. So, so let's talk through a couple of the warning signs because you, you mentioned them specifically. And I think in specifically as well, uh, what I've frequently seen is, uh, the, the likeness or the person conducting this scam is claiming to be outside of the country where the person lives or they travel for a living. There's always a reason why they're the time zones are wrong. They're hard to connect with, you know, and it's always doing something exotic. I'm, you know, a military contractor. I'm the, the CEO of a fortune 500 company, I've got all well, these by businesses the way, that I manage. If you have a Fortune 500 or a major business, what's the website? Yeah. Where are they at? Go look on it. They'll have a list of the officers there, That all that stuff. It, it, you know, <laughs> right-click and search. <laughs> yeah, speaking of right-clicking and searching, I mean, it's one of the things I've actually started to do when people are trying to connect with me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn? I, I've done that for years because there are so many fake profiles on LinkedIn, yep. you know, and I have 30,000 connections there or, or no, a hundred or like a hundred thousand with followers and everything. And, 
And yeah, I'm always like someone writes to me. I write quick first. Who is that? Is that a real person? Where are they at? And, and many times you find that, well, there's a picture and it's the same model over here. Mm -hmm. Or you, you know, see them associated with multiple LinkedIn profiles or you see them as a headshot on. I, I've seen some that are uh, the same headshot on multiple websites as like an officer of the company, all with a different name. You're like, yeah. mm, OK, I don't yeah. know if you're the real one or the fake one, but. I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to risk dealing with it. I'm out. Yeah. You know, I'm this out. is not that yeah. important to me. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> if you if it's important, you'll hit me again. Yeah. And we'll see it again. We'll see you again. But yeah. But that's a just the right click on an, a simple Google image search is is something I've been doing for years just to make sure because in the digital world it's so easy to create a digital persona that's not you. Yeah. I mean, that started back with MySpace with Tom, who was fake, <laughs> right? So, you know, that goes back, uh, you know, decade or so. So it, it can be done, and they're, and they're much more sophisticated today. So the key thing is is always common sense and yep. not let your your hormones or your your lust for love overcome your common sense. Your common sense is the, and your gut. Yeah, it, the two most, you know, your gut is probably your most important <laughs> organ there is, and yeah. you should use it more often. You know, yeah, there's that. You know, once you start having like multiple things happening, there, you know, the red flag of them being out of the country. There's tragedy right. in their life. Their spouse died. Their children's yeah. in the hospital. There's something going on that makes you want to take care of them. Yeah, that those yeah. are kind of the, in my mind, the red flags that I've seen people talk about consistently on these types of scams is that it's they're they're constantly tugging on heartstrings as quickly as they possibly can you know three emails into the conversation they're they're professing their love for the person and how amazing they are and yeah and, it, and, and it's, yeah. it's sad if it, by the way if that hasn't happened to you before that should be a red flag too <laughs> so, i mean all those things right because i think most people have been in some kind of relationship before and if it doesn't seem like the past relationship, it's probably not right. It's yeah, not true, you know, there's something should be a, a, a red flag. Yeah, it totally. So, uh, so you had talked about um, going after people to take down pictures of you and your name and stuff. Is that were you using tools to do that? Were you just doing image searches? You said you'd used a company to help you with that. Yeah, well, I own. I happen to own a public relations company, so um, I have a team and a social media team that works with me constantly. Two people that are, you know, full time just managing my stuff and the stuff that we do around the brands that I have, and so. Um, I, they're constantly looking, they're constantly searching. That's their job. And, and we try to uncover as many as we can so we can, you know, propagate that, uh, propagate the story. Cause I'm using the fake stuff to, to help educate people. To, hey, look again, look mm -hmm. again, look again. And I'm starting to see more, see it much more common, especially with more public figure figures or those that aren't necessarily celebrities, but fairly public. So I'm starting to see a lot of professional speakers who are being utilized in this way because we're one traveling all the time. Yep. So we're taking pictures all over the world. You know, I was just out of, out of the country. And, and by the way, this comes with a whole nother thing of stalkers and everything else too, by the way, just, I mean, I have mm -hmm. uh, stalkers who should be on the no, no fly uh, zones uh, and, and list and so forth. And so we, ha so we even take precaution of never even social media isn't in the same day. Mm -hmm. So, which means as I'm traveling, I never tell people what city I'm really in until the day after. Things like that, just so we can have some safety. Those are safety things. I yeah. mean, but I used to be the chief marketing officer of Eastman Kodak, and some time ago, I had an employee. Her name was Tina, and and she had a guy who was following her who only followed women named Tina. No, oh, gee. I mean, that's just sick. I mean, so there are, you know, you got to be careful with these kinds of people. There's a lot of them out there. But yeah, a lot of professional speakers, because they're out there, they're cutting videos for clients saying, hey, I'm coming to this city. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. So people really need to be aware. So not only, you know, do we want to educate those people who are looking for love, but the people who are out there about what you need to do to protect your, you know, your, your own stuff. Like, I've locked down my personal accounts for a long time, yeah. but yet somehow they sneak in there. Mm -hmm. Somebody at a weak moment, one of my team will let somebody in my personal stuff. And, and, uh, but I, I post a lot of kind of personal things on my public pages mm -hmm. 
And so you can't, I mean, what's the difference between public and private? Not much, but, yeah. and so they're, you, they use those, you know, like, you know, like over Christmas, I might be hugging my grandbabies or something like that. Or, and, and, and again, one picture, two grandbabies on me, my wife sat next to me. I, I want to know how they're explaining that, but you know, they, they're probably describing, oh, that's my former wife or that's my sister. And you know, that's how they do it. Yeah. So there, you know, on two sides, you want to help people one, protect your images, protect your own personal brand, yep. right? And the other side, you want to protect the people who are being scammed. Yeah, that's, yeah. like you said, that's one of the things I've tried to be good about over the years is if I'm on vacation, I never talk about the fact that I'm on vacation. I never post pictures of my vacation until yeah. until I'm home. <laughs> yeah. And that's well, yeah, because, yeah, e- that's even like, with a lockdown profile. No, even with that, you're right, Chris, because that's just saying, hey, come rob my house. Yes. Please come rub my house. Now, Now, just so everybody's prepared, I have video cameras everywhere. You know, I live on the ranch. I have them up the road. You don't even know that it's <laughs> embedded in a post or whatever or on a tree. Or, and I own a bridge, too. So I know everybody that comes in the driveways a half a mile away. So, yeah, so I know those things. So. I, I admit it. I've done the same thing. I have multiple cameras in my house. Yeah. I don't want to say I'm, I'm paranoid, I but I just want, I have, it's a cheap way to be safe. No, I literally haven't pointed out almost every single window in the house outward just to catch the people coming this way, you know. Mm-hmm. And then a few is, you know, you you walk in my door, you walk in certain public places, boom, there's I got your picture. Yeah. So, and then it's alerted immediately. And it's not, by the way, and it's not ring either. So you can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nest. Yeah. <laughs> because Google will never share anything that it has. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's why I don't have a Google email, but there you go. Yeah. So let's see. We we've talked about from the angle of the victim, the yep. the the one who's usually out the motion or out out, out the relate out the money, yep. and uh, the warning signs of the person's outside of the country. There's tragedy. They're quick to emotionally connect, um, and now we've got in even when the video it's sketchy. Again, there's always that plausible. They try to make their make it a good reason why the video isn't working. Well, and by the way, that blew me away. I did not know that. that Cause when I met with this woman, um, she, uh, I, I agreed with BBC that, that we would meet. Mm-hmm. Um, so, but I, I said, maybe we should, you know, we shouldn't probably do it in person. Let's do it by video because, and I'm busy. I'm traveling all the time. And so one morning I got up very early. I was in Vegas. Uh, they were in London and then we did the meet via the uh, via Skype, mm-hmm. uh, just like this call. And she said, oh, my God, it's you, it's you, it's you. I go, wow, do I look like him? She goes, I've talked to him. I said, what do you mean you've talked to him? She goes, we did a video call. I said, you did a video call? And I'm thinking, well, what software they're using? And then later on, I figured out that's how they did it. I went to our team. I said, I want to know how these guys are doing it. What are they doing? And now we're trying to be careful about you know, even how I might cut a video. Mm-hmm. So now you see like behind me is the on air sign. Yep. Okay. Things like that, where I'm always putting now logos or something in it. They can't explain that. They can't explain that away. Right. Yeah. But they still have the old videos and that one old video that they could do it. I, I, can, I can see exactly how they do it. I mean, that's unfortunately very clever of them to use that as a technique to make it it's, seem because that's one of the things I've always told people do a video chat with the person. It's brilliant, by the way. And now what I'm going to have to say is do a video chat where there's no audio or video connectivity issues. <laughs> Correct. You've got to put that in there because that's what they do. And, of course, it sounds like, you know, so imagine I'm talking and all of a sudden and it stops like that, but you can still hear them talking. Yeah. Well, what's wrong with your video? Oh, I'm, I'm in a wireless connection and it's very bad and it's not good. I'm in Bahrain or I can't even know. You're, oh, you know, I'm in Oman or wherever it might, might be. I mean, that's the one that they most recently used. And so, OK, oh, I get that. Oh, I get you. Oh, you're of course, you're 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 so and so from South Africa and you're you're on assignment on a boat. And, you know, it's like, you know, come on. It, it, it yeah. all leads to that story of something exciting, something exotic. Yeah. You know, sexy. Some, yeah, something yeah. sexy, well, and, something. And, and, oh, by the way, a lot of my stuff. I mean, you see me in a little in denim shirt, and here I'm in my office uh, in uh, in New York City. But the, you know, I have poor pictures of me on my horse uh, hunting. You know, I'm an outdoors guy. 
Um, but you also, you know, but if you if you really go look, you'll see me pictures with Trump. You'll see me pictures with so and so, pictures with this person, so, yeah, all these uh, celebrities, because that's that's what I do. I interview a bunch of them, and I do a lot. Um, you know, it's so it's so again, if you just search, you should find a lot of that. Um, so whoever, if you are, if you're listening, just do the do some simple things. I mean, I. I, I just feel for people. I just hurt yeah. so bad. And I've talked to literally, uh, you know, over a hundred women and a few men personally, when I hear about this, because I just, I'm, I'm just so taken by mm-hmm. it. So, you know, I wish I could do something, you know, and short of punching them in the throat, you know, um, and there's not much I, I can personally do, you know, yeah. and a lot of people feel, you know, they feel sorry for me. I'm sorry this happened to you, Jeff. Well, I'm going like, yeah, I get it. But you know, it ain't me. It ain't me. You know, I'm taking advantage of, but it's really not me. It's them. Yep. And and uh, not much I can do. I can't. I can't stop that. You know. And and that's the whole reason why I'm doing the podcast because I'm kind of in the same position of you in terms of I've heard so many stories about people, you know, mortgaging homes in order to help these people out or. Well, I think I've won the lottery and I just need to pay this fee, and so I'm going to mortgage my house. I'm going to give up my entire life savings. And it's like I, I just can't keep quiet and you know and not do something about it anymore. There's we've no. people need to be educated. People need to to hear the stories. People need to see that you know. Uh, unfortunately, you just can't. I don't want to say you can't trust anyone that you meet online, but you really need to take those things with a significant grain of salt and really go. Oh, my, my Is daughter, this real? Yeah, my daughter met her love of her life online, and he's the kindest, gentlest, and and smart and articulate and his family's wonderful and i'm so glad that they did yeah but you know i can tell you when she said hey dad i'm going on a date and he's here in new york where'd you meet him online i want i want i want to know where you're going i I want to meet him too (laughs) yeah i put you on a tracker okay you call me when you get there you call you call me afterward what's this guy's name and i want his real phone number and then of course i you know i'm a dad so i go him up who is he <laughs> you know even if it's a date because you know you don't know yeah. and so you know you and and i think a lot of people are naive about that you you know it could be a ted bundy for all you know um so yeah you should have backups you should have precautions you should do certain things and luckily there's a little bit more of that but you don't want to be i don't want to be tracking you down after the fact yeah yeah <laughs> you know i don't want to be using it as evidence after the fact you know so so use your use your noggin use your brain yeah uh, use your common sense again tr- rather than trust your groin or your other organs trust your gut yeah okay. that's you know? that's always or, you know and or think- your heart you know in this case trust your gut not your and not not the other vital organs that you have uh, and I think it also helps having, you know, friends and relatives that you're communicating with that you're willing to listen to because some friend or relative is going to say, you met this person online? Yeah, I can imagine. Well, I have these conversations again with family members who, you know, like here recently, it was a daughter who called me and said, Mr. Hazel, I just want to let you know. And usually they reach out on LinkedIn or they reach out on Facebook. And you never, never see that little, because I don't use Messenger, Facebook Messenger at all, period. And every once in a while, I'll see it, you know, check and I go, I know exactly what it is. Because mm. I just don't, you know, I don't use that for a thing. And I know exactly what it is. Someone's contacted me about that. That's what they're doing. And that's what they do. They reach out and message me through there. Um, so, but yeah, and then I talked to a daughter and the daughter's, you know, they're heartbroken. And they said, you know, I told my mom, I told my mom, I told mm-hmm. my mom. And, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then, by the way, then sometimes they don't even believe it. Yeah. So I have to, I have to prove it to them. I have to help prove it to them. Ugh. You know, yeah. I've had to, with family members, I they said, would you mind calling her? No, I'll call her. Yeah, if you want that. Or, you know, or, you know, if she, if you just point to my, here's my TV show, here's my <laughs> Here's my podcast. Here's me with here's me with the president, or here's me with the here's me on the on the red carpet at the Oscars, um, you know, and so forth. Yeah, you maybe you could show her that. Yeah, whether that should that if that oh you know that and that's not Kristoff, you know that's not Henrik, that's not whoever whoever it is, you know. Do you have like an online resource that kind of details your story that you can that you point people to? So here, hey, I, I, I feel Wikipedia. bad for you. Oh, you mean on this thing? Well, yeah, no. yeah. We're just starting that to be on mm-hmm. to be blunt. I just said to the team after this BBC thing, Chris. Um, hey, we have to do more here. Um, and we, you know, I have a public profile. I'm not. I'm not. You know, 
you know, a big name anywhere in the world other than just what I do in business. In business, I, I'm well known. Uh, but, you know, as a public persona, yeah, you know, I've got hundreds of thousands of followers, things like that, but I'm not like a huge celebrity by any means. But I said, let's use it for good. I, you know, so yeah, we're contacting folks like yourself and others and saying, look, how can we spread the story? And, and how can we do things? And, and by the way, here's some tips. Mm-hmm. And so we're doing some of those. So when we find it, we do it. I, I post about it. I'm blogging about it. I'll do something on uh, on Valentine's Day. Mm-hmm. You know? um, I just wrote a New York Times editorial um, looking for love in all the wrong places um, kind of uh, story. So, yeah, and I'm I'm happy to tell my story because the more I can tell this story, that maybe I can stop someone from being taken advantage of and injured and hurt. I don't, I don't want to see people who wants to live life like that, you know? Yep. So we'll definitely link to uh, some of those articles that you've written in the show notes. If people want to read more about it and kind of keep up with how you're dealing with it, they can go and find that. And Well, come follow me legitimately. <laughs> you're part of what we do. And, and the more that you can learn and you can pass on and say, Hey, look at this guy. He's, he's not afraid of him, but you know, but let's go find other people. And I think the more people that do that and we tell, and by the way, if it's happened to you, tell other people, yep. tell your you story, know, tell your story, because I think the more you do that, the the better, um, it, it shows one that it, it happens more often than what you think. And two, it just, um, it might give somebody else, you know, it's almost like the me too side of it. Yeah. It might give somebody else enough courage to step forward and say, I want to know. We're going to see you in person. I'm going to right click on you. I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do. I'm going to go look and see if I. I'm going to run a credit check on you. I'm going to whatever. I'm going to find you. Yeah, I'm going to prove that you are real and that you're not a figment of my, you know, imagination and my my desire for love. Um, because we don't want that. We just don't want that to happen to you. You're too good for that. Yeah. People are. Everybody in this world's too good for that. You don't deserve it. Yep. So how can people follow you? Speaking of that. You know, I'm, you can find me at Jeffrey Hazlett, H-A-Y-Z-L-E-T-T, anything with C-Suite. I'm, we lead the C-Suite Network, C-Suite TV, C-Suite Radio, uh, C-Suite Book Club. So we have all these different groups that we have, uh, community about 350,000 executives. But yeah, you can find me. I'm pretty acceptable through social media, obviously. So. <laughs> pretty easy to be found when you want to be. <laughs> exactly, yeah. And I'm not going to ask you for money. Oh, good. That's good to know. <laughs> but if you, if you are giving it, I'll take it. But no, I'm not asking you for it, so no. By any way, too. At least not for dating, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> well, I really appreciate you coming on and uh, sharing your story. And uh, hopefully, as more people hear this, there'll be less and less people that fall victim to this and similar crimes. Amen. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Easy Prey Podcast. If you found this episode helpful, share it with someone you know and leave a review on iTunes. Notes and a transcript of this episode with Jeffrey Hazlett can be found at easyprey.com slash two. This is Chris Parker. Remember, you may be a target, but you don't have to be a victim.